Hello my friends, I hope everybody is doing great. Today I thought it would be fun and very good to get caught up in my Creative Daily Journal. So I have, um, let's see, I have printed out some photos and I kind of dated them. I've just been popping in some random things. I really am using, trying to use up my stash with, um, with just different stuff that I have found. Like, I don't know when I bought this little chocolate bar, but I just love the little owl on there that says awake. It's like I'm just starting to like try to use stuff that I come across that I'm like, oh, I need to put that in my journal. You know, um, I would have loved to have put it at the time that I ate the chocolate, but I still want to put it in there. So, um, let's see here. So we are, I've done some actual journaling, yay. And then um, some I'm still working on. But I did print out some photos and I've just been decorating the pages, prepping um, the different pages for just, like I said, just kind of using up my stash, just going through and um, and just adding different bits and pieces in there. So let's go ahead and let's decorate some pages and then we'll come back and add some photos. So I went ahead and added some background using the um, Distress Stain uh, by Tim Holtz. Still got quite a bit of that, so I am um, using it as much as I can, of course. And then I just grabbed me some scrap book pages, paper, and I obviously like this one because I picked it, picked up three different ones. So, um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So, like, what typically what I would do on an evening is. Um, this is where I, I, I kind of wind down for the night. I'll just decorate some pages. Again, there, it could be, sometimes I do like, for example, this one came, um, what was it? This one, I came home and did this one right when I, um, when the event happened, because it was on a Saturday, and that was one of my evenings. I was just started like putting down, um, you know, just kind of playing, adding words, do, using markers, putting scrapbook paper in, um, just different things to to get the pages started. And a lot of times, it really helps me stay on task if I if I basically take the page and I decorate it and I put the date on there. Then it's like, okay, I have this, and I can start adding different things as I need them. Like, for example, what we'll do after we decorate some pages is I'm going to go in there and add my photos or a title or something like that, which is very um, helpful. So, but I'm going to look and see. I do like to make sure that I kind of stay with the groove of things. So, this is Thursday. Friday would be the 19th. Oh, it was just, it was not an eventful day. <laughs> I'm looking at my picture and I have a computer. I did a screenshot of my Zoom meeting at work and I was like, oh, yeah, it was just, it wasn't, it was an uneventful day. So, and I just start layering up some things. I bought these, some things. Uh, these, I, I think I mentioned it in my last video that I picked these up at the hardware store. I actually got several of these because I want to send these to Journal with Dolly. It has Hello Dolly on there as a color and I thought she would get a kick out of that. So but so how are you guys going? So it's if you have kids in school it's end of the it's end of the school year here. So we are we have graduation um, tomorrow at the high school. Um, and then summer starts. Brazos has a, she starts her senior year. Um, I guess actually when school's out, she's gonna be a senior. They've already put out an email. And we had to buy her a shirt that basically kind of like what kicks off the school year is we have in our area the they have the big rodeo livestock something or another <laughs> on. Um, um, Labor Day weekend, you know, they have the band, they have music, they have the carnival, they have all that kind of stuff. And so she's going to um, be, do y'all hear that? I'm going to be quiet for just a second. 
So there's a bull across the way and it does that throughout the day. <laughs> if anybody knows why, I haven't, I was going to Google it. Why in the world, it's not our cow, but why in the world <laughs> do the bulls like do that? And it's like, hmm, okay, you know. <laughs> Oh, it's funny. But anyway, so, um, so yeah, so she had to order, they do, um, they have a big parade. It's part of the, um, um, Fayette County parade. And then they have the kids run through, um, the color, you know, the color run, and then they get splashed with color, etc. So, um, she's excited about that. They, we had to order the shirt for that this last this last week so it's like oh my gosh it's happening you know and I'm still prepping for the Anna Green Gables I hope to have everything I hope to have a calendar out to you guys within the next week or two and that way you guys can kind of prep it'll have a it'll have a um oh um let me get my tape here it, it will have like a supply list it'll also have like different things that we plan on doing and then I know I mentioned buttons okay so I'm gonna go ahead and talk about it because that way to kind of give you guys an idea of what the heck I'm talking about well in this book I'm reading um, and I'll do and I'll do like a demonstration I'll show you guys the book I think I've already did on my Instagram but I'll show you guys the book once I start talking about supplies etc <clears throat> but they have a, um, uh, I read it in, um, in the book and I thought, you know, that would actually be a really cute idea, you know? So, now the cow's out there moaning, you guys. It's got to be something to do with mating. <laughs> I'm assuming. I have no idea. But, uh, um. Anyway, so they, uh, basically in the book, they talk about doing a button exchange, and that was real popular, like, in the early, so this book basically takes what's happening, what, like, during the, so Anna Green Gables was based in about the late 1800s, early 1900s, right? So they take about, they take things that she mentions in her book, and they did a little bit of research about what exactly, you know, it meant and so uh, so they would do all these they would talk about different things well one of the things that they talked about was doing like a button exchange or like where you would a friend would come over and they would bring a button and you bring a button and then you would like create these um, and I googled it so again I'm gonna give you guys all that information whenever um, we're we're starting to to um, whenever we're starting when we're talking about it and and I just love doing research on stuff like this this is like gets me all excited so um, <clears throat> so that's what I thought would be really fun for us to do is to do like a button exchange like maybe everybody can sign up and then um, we'll I'll like put five people per group and then we'll exchange buttons with those five people I will provide the whole list if someone wants to exchange with the whole list but that's like a lot I don't know how many is going to register and it really is very very basic like I wish I had a button up here like just pick one of your favorite buttons or a button you want to share maybe a button with a story behind it or something like that and then we can exchange it and then we're going to do a craft with it so I love I'm so excited I mean so excited for this idea and uh, so that's one of the things that I want to do actually a little bit earlier than what the actual uh, camp starts because then at the because we're going to need our buttons in order to do a a, a, a craft with them because that'll be one of our last crafts that we do for the camp so what do you guys think I think it's such a cute idea I'm really excited about it this is some ribbon. We're gonna the if you order the kits, it's gonna come with some ribbon, and this was some leftover ribbon that I had, and I'm just gonna pop it on here. Cause like I said, I've just been collecting little bits and pieces and adding it to my journal. And when I have I try to keep up to date on at least get the the dates down, 
then you know that way I stay on top of things so this will be Friday this was this last Friday let's see here Friday put that out and then Friday the 19th so yeah so that's one of the things we're going to be doing which I'm really excited about Now for the 20th, which was a Saturday, this was this last Saturday, I actually have quite a bit of photos. So I think what I'm going to do is just decorate this page just to add, like I have some things I've been pulled out. And then create this page as my all day Saturday one because I took a bunch of photos because, oh, it was, it was just, the for one, the weather was gorgeous here. It was, um, look at these cute little cards. I just saw these in here. <laughs> These are so cute. I think I got these from uh, Jen. Uh, I think I did get these from Jen at, um, that's so cute, at when we were in um, Kansas this last fall. But, no, it was, the weather was just gorgeous. And my husband was doing some cutting. Um, and so I had to drive him to go take the, take him down there to do the tractor and then uh, me and Poke I said well I'll just take Pokey with me because he likes to go for rides you know and so we went and did that and he uh, we just and it was nice because I couldn't go real fast I was driving my husband's truck which is like big but we couldn't go real fast so I had the windows down and the breeze was blowing in if you follow me on Instagram I did post some pictures of like different farmland that we went by a bunch of corn I don't know it was just so peaceful you know and so um, so yeah so that was a lot of fun and I, I was just taking photos and I really enjoyed my day it was it was a definitely a day worth it was just a peaceful day you know I got to take a nap <laughs> I just have so I'm not wearing my um, Fitbit thing now but I've been trying to get him more steps you know and I just like to see what I sleep at night and it actually can make you like oh like oh my gosh I don't get enough sleep I don't get enough sleep and I've known that for a while but I didn't realize how restless I sleep <laughs> and so um so yeah so I've been just I don't know maybe that maybe reading maybe reading it makes me more tired I don't know <laughs> does that sound um, strange but like I said this is just stuff I have been I've been pulling out of my stash and just wanting to add it into my journal no rhyme or reason other than it's just so darn cute and I've gotten it as happy mail both of these are pieces of happy mail that I've gotten and this was from Nancy Joe and I believe this is from um, Blue Nest. Blue Nest. I'm sorry. I can't. Um, thinking out loud. It'll come to me. Robin. It's Robin. 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 <laughs> so again, I just think she's so cute. Now, granted, I would put little clothes on her. I may still do that. I may not just. She's got her little under undershirts on. But I love Raggedy Ann. She's my fave. So, um, so yeah. So it was just, um, it was just a nice, really nice weekend. I need to put another sticker. Let's see if we can find one here. Oh, that was the other thing. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I had this crazy idea. I'm like, I haven't, I don't have any stickers. I must have gave them all away because I did downsize on some of my stickers. And um, I was thinking, um, I had, I was like, oh, I got rid of all my stickers. I need to buy some more stickers. So I've like had it, you guys see my car, my Amazon cart is full of stickers. And I was like, oh, what, did I, what happened to all of them? Well, believe me, I did. I found them in my closet because I've been reorganizing my craft room. 
and um, yeah, I, 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 I'm not lacking in stickers. So I kind of created a cart um, and I filled it with a lot of my stickers so that way I have them. And I really don't know why I moved them. I'd love to hear how you guys organize um, your stickers because I, ha I, I have to say I'm pretty organized. I need to do a video on them. But um, the fact that I couldn't find them and now, it, well, and I, I really could not even get to my closet, you guys. I have so much, um, I had so much stuff in there. But I'm getting, I'm starting to use some things up, so that's a good thing. Just I was thinking I had a pie. This is um, Daphne's diary sticker book. Hmm. Maybe not. I've had it for a while, and it seems like the. I know sometimes stickers lose their stickiness. Like this may be too much. I might need to put some glue on the edge. Whoops. Glue on all of that. Let's do that. That sticker book. I got them off of Amazon, and yeah, they're not. I had gotten given some of those away, donated them, because um, I went through a phase of buying all the ones on Amazon, <laughs> and uh, yeah, they're not, sometimes they don't stick, because I've had them a while too, but, okay, so, like I said, this is just, we're just playing, we're just filling our pages up, so this is, this is the weekend, the fun weekend, the relaxing weekend. And I thought I would put, or at least, um, what's all this stuff? Oh, more stickers. <laughs> yeah, not lacking in stickers. I must have thought, I must have had a moment. Let's see. I just saw something I was going to use. Oh, right here. Home is where the heart is. I thought that would, I thought that was kind of a fit perfectly for the weekend. And I found this. This is one of the old book covers that I had. So I thought I would use that. And I think since I love this pink so much, we'll just add some pink to this page. Or should I just put this straight on here? Oh. No. I kind of like this little edging on here. It's it, what's interesting about books is, um, you know, I love little golden books, but some of my get are like, and actually those are the kind that I really smile about because they're all torn up or they're colored in or like this one. It actually felt like it had gotten wet. But the nice thing about that is, is then I don't feel so guilty cutting them up, you know? I try not to feel guilty anyway, because they're going into my, they're, they're telling, the books that I use are telling a story, so, a, just a different kind of story. <laughs> my story. <laughs> they're, the illustrations are adding to my story. Yeah, so... But I had I finally started putting all those books, tearing them apart actually, instead of just kind of hanging on to them, but tearing them the pages out and then adding them into a box. And then that way, if I'm like like for example, I knew I was like you know I'm gonna go through that box before I um, before I journal and I and I came across that tractor. I was like oh that's that's just perfect, perfect to to tell my story. I have this great little piece of paper, so we're just going to add it over here because there's glue all over it. So I'm just going to add a little bit more to the edging since we're going to be putting it on that oops piece of ribbon. Mm 
Okay. Then I'm going to take this. And that right there. But yeah, so... Um, but all the Christmas books, because I, I had, you know, anytime I saw a little golden book Christmas one, I'd pick it up, whether I flipped through it or not. And a lot of times in the very back, or actually throughout the book, it would be either ripped up or colored on. So I'm actually, speaking of Christmas, I know, it's not even July, we're not even doing um, Christmas in July yet or anything. Um... I'm thinking about doing a different journal this year, and I don't know yet what, because I've done a little golden book. I'm actually kind of geared towards possibly doing like a composition book. I know I did that one year. Okay. of our pictures. Like I said, I took quite a bit of pictures this weekend and I wanted to put them in there. This is one of our little baby cows. I hadn't seen them yet. Oh my goodness, where we're at, I think I mentioned it last time, the mosquitoes are so, oh man, they could carry you off. They're so big. They, um, they literally will wait. We have a sliding glass door, and they literally wait outside the sliding glass. I feel like they do. They're like watching us, waiting for us to come out so they can, you know, sink their little beak in us or whatever they have. <laughs> and you're like walking out the door and batting them and trying to get them away. Oh, it's terrible. I talked to one of the... Um, guys um that lives close to the coast and i was asking him how are you surviving because i know they have them bad he's like well they were spraying the other night and you know i always tell a story whenever i hear that because my dad when they lived in austin as kids he said the deep i guess it was i don't know if they i don't know what they would spray but it was like basically like deep but now i'm like did they spray that they could have sprayed it um, but they sprayed it to try to get to keep the mosquitoes and um, he said that um, they would um, they would come down and uh, they would chase after the truck while they were getting sprayed now if that isn't something <laughs> Oops. You know, I think I mentioned this, and this, if anybody's new, it's been a while since I mentioned these. Go, if you're ever, oh, looky here. Some tabs, I can use those. If you're ever, um, like, at Hobby Lobby or, um, um, yeah, Hobby Lobby, look in the poster board section because, um, they, um, uh, they actually have like tons of like die cuts. I mean, you are going to get quite a bit. And you're going to actually get quite a bit, but they have a lot of like die cuts. Like this was farm animal ones. They had, uh, I think, some foxes and some owls. and But you get plenty of them to where you can share with friends. And so. Um, so yeah, definitely go check that out if you, I was, and they're really inexpensive. Let's see. I'm just digging around, you guys. Um, oh, those are cute. I mean, literally just trying to use up stuff. I haven't, I have a little drawer here that I'm just... Oh, Fifi Fluff. <laughs> I'm just going through my little drawer here, pop, seeing what we got. 
Okay, let's see what we can put together here. So I feel like with this one, I'm kind of timing myself too, you guys, because believe me, I could spend all evening, all, all, um, this is my happy, you know, so let's see here. I think I want to do some green background. I'm glad I picked these up. They've been coming quite handy. I'm going to do this. Staple. Just to put some color behind that. Okay, and then I thought this would be kind of neat to add maybe put it down here. Just kind of break the pictures up a little bit on the page. I think the pumpkins are for fall, but to me they're pretty colors. We can use them. Remember, and we have no rules. We do what we want. I do what I want. <laughs> Whoops. Even if I want to throw my die cut around. <laughs> Just kidding, you guys. Um, if you see that over there, you're probably going, why does the deal with the little strawberry? Okay, so I thought it would be cute. It was a it was in this cute it's one of the little die cut little baskets. That's adorable. But I'm thinking about like cutting it like this. I got it at the retreat. Um the strawberry shortcake retreat what a year ago. And you can actually use this side too. But see look I can use it as a die cut. Maybe put some a cow hanging out of it. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, but I thought it would be really cute little die cut. So that's kind of what I moved it over here for. Okay, let's see here. Saturday was the 20th. Oh my goodness, you guys. It's um, Saturday the 20th. And actually what I'm going to still do just to keep it... consistent. I'm going to add that on there as well. Okay. So the next thing, I definitely want to make sure I keep room for journaling, although I can do like a tip in with my journaling. And that would work too. We were speaking, I was just thinking about these cows, and they are so cute to watch. I love watching the little calves run, but now going back to the chickens, they, oh man, they are getting on my nerves, you guys, because they want to get on my back porch, and so I was reading stuff, like I thought, okay, there's got to be some, even though I know my, lots of people have challenges with keeping them off the porch, and I was, <laughs> I was reading this one, um, and if I've shared the story, I'm gonna I don't think I have, but because I just read it I think over the weekend. Um, because it's like I can't have anything nice out there. It's my cushions, they get poop on my cushions, or they, you know, poop on the maybe not on the cushion, but on the chair. Oh, have a seat, come sit on my back porch. Oh, don't mind the chicken poop. It's fine. Just, you know. 
So, and, and even if you, you sweep it, you got to get your little water, um, what do you call the water pressure thing to get that stuff off. And, you know, you go a few days and you're right back to where you were. Anyway, not to become my complaining, but I was trying to figure out how to keep the chickens off the back porch. And I think I did mention this here. And if, if I did, I apologize, but I, this story just cracks me up. But it's like they said you know you can have water squirt you know like when they walk up well I started getting this vision of like just like poor pokey <laughs> poor pokey walking up or poor or my you know Brazos or my husband or whatever and the minute they they get censored and it squirts them with water and anyway but and also watching the chickens get squirted with water but normally if I walk out there they're like oh well, no, no. You know what they do? They're like, "Oh, are you gonna feed us? Oh, oh, let's let's eat. I'm hungry. Let's. I need some scratch." So the, now it's like I fed them so much. They're like, "Oh, this is boring. Um, we've already had this. We want something else to eat." And yeah, maybe maybe I need to get the life of. <laughs> but, but I love to sit on my back porch. It's like, you know, and especially after when I get home, Pokey's been inside all day, and he wants to do that too. Or if I work from home, he wants to, you know, he wants to get outside and, and play too, so. So yeah, anyway, let me know. I thought I could do, like, maybe some peppermint or something where they, they come up to the, and they smell the peppermint. And they're like, oh, I'm going to go up there or, you know, citronella or something like that. But now that does help work for mice. Read that. But... Look at Pokey. He's living his best life. He's got his head out the window, his ears flapping in the wind. He's smelling all the things. He was so good. He didn't like bark and usually when you give him rides he's like running all over you and wanting to be in your side of the thing and barking at the, you cannot run the windshield wipers if he's in the car because he barks at the windshield wipers and anybody that has a Dotson knows how loud their bark is. Oh my gosh. But he did so good. He just, he enjoyed every bit of it. It was so nice. He was living his best life. I'm going to cover up this bed. Because it's not really part of the story anyway. So I'm just going to do that. I don't even know if I'm going to put that butterfly. It seems like it's... It's too big or taking up the space or something. Um, I know I had another picture, and I have a picture of me and him. I look terrible in this picture. I did. I was like, oh, I don't want to put that in my. But it's hey, it's waking up. I worked on getting shipments out that morning. We're probably our, I'm probably my worst. I'm like, oh, that's terrible. <laughs> that's why it felt so good. I was just relaxed. Okay. Let's see here. Let's put all this aside. And then this almost can go right here. And then I might put like a sticker or something in there. Or I could put, write something about, really teeny tiny write something about Pokey living his best life. <laughs> I might have, I think I might actually have something a little bigger. Here we go. I thought I saw something in here. Okay. Like even something like this. Or that would cover that way I can write more a couple more things on here for Brazos picking the peaches. Yeah, we actually have 
quite a bit of peaches on our peach tree, so that's nice. They're hard as a rock, but I, I would, we did pick some off and brought it in the house, and they seem to be getting ripe, so that worked out good. All right. Well, we got a couple pages decorated. This one now just needs to be written in. So not you can leave enough space. have to go with the smaller smaller one let's see or this one I don't want to cut his ear off that may work better okay we'll do that one and then I can write in and that gives me plenty of room down here to write about our day and some space over here you guys well that is good we got that Saturday taken care of and it looks good so yeah I still have some more pictures that I can come in and add um, here I'll go through the stack and, and add some pictures then come in and journal and I'm feeling really good about May it's it's looking really good so all right, you guys. Well, thanks for watching along, and I hope to see you soon in my next video. Um, and if you want to do the button exchange, it's going to be fun. So more details about that will come soon. So, all right, you guys. Y'all have a super sparkly rest of the day. Bye-bye.